Race 38, our penultimate race, and it's the John Wade Hunter's Chase, over two miles and two furlongs. Flames of Galileo for Paul Rhodes is our top weight. Korolieva Dabrovny for Thomas Rogers. Callback about for Martin Needham. Caulfield for Alex Cherry. Estertide Revelation for James Shea. Avon Exotic for Stu Gray. Norcroft Mounting for James Shea. Lily of the Valley and Ronquino for Obi Wan. Make up eight and nine. Let's go over two miles and two furlongs. Starters. Racing. Waiting for it to settle down as the rain comes down. They all get over the first one. A couple of stickier jumps towards the rear. Kino really jumped into the back of I think called Beg About. But it's Lydia the Ballet taking a keen hold. Nobody wants to take this up. Flames of Galileo on his inside. Finally calm down as we get to the second. The leaders are all over. Everybody jumps out particularly well, so it's Lily of the Valley that's going to lead us from the Flames of Galileo. Out wide is Caulfield. And green silks abound of Norcroft Mountain. That's the time Revelation and Koroliev Debrovny. And then out wide is Corbeck about. And Kino and Avon Exotic together. So Lily of the Valley takes the third, jumps it well. The mistakes towards the rear. Nothing to write home about. And six cents large is go over the fifth. We we'll take that well. The one that made a bit of a mistake was Caulfield on landing. He's still got his jockey in the plate. And it's Lily of the Valley by about five as we swing left handed. Line up to this plain one. Comes pretty quick. He takes it well. Well, a couple of mistakes there. Call back about on Caulfield. And, uh, start jumping a little bit better towards the rear. But Lily of the Valley taking a little hold again. By about six, the green silks of Norcroft Mountain and Korolev Dubrovny. Get over the big ditch, the seventh. Everybody jumps out well, including the cool field at the rear. Been a bit sticky earlier in the race. So with a mile and a quarter still to go, it's Lily of the Valley that still leads us by about five from Esther Time Revelation of James Shays. We've got Ron Kino of Obi Wan. Inside of that is Korolev Dubrovny for Thomas Rogers. And wider still is Moorcroft Mountain, which you could be Moorcroft Mountain on the inside of Correa de Brovny. So as they go past the winning post for the circuit to go, and still Lily of the Valley for Obi Wan that leads us by a couple of lengths to Correa de Brovny and Easter to Esther Tide Revelation. Between those is Ronquino and Norcroft Mountain, then a length or so back to Coolbeg about Avon Exotic and Flames of Galileo. And just at the rear, by just a length, is Caulfield as they go over the ninth, that's seven from home. We have a mistake on landing from Flames of Galileo there. We swing left handed again. You can see the grandstand as they come down this back straight. And it's Lily of the Valley, six to jump by about three to Corelli of Dubrovni and Esther Tide Revelation. Corelli of Dubrovni got over that one really well, jumps himself almost alongside Lily of the Valley. It's being pushed along now as we come down inside the sixth. Coming out of the pack is Norcroft Mountain. So they go over the eleventh. A bad mistake there by Flames of Galileo. Loses all momentum and shuffles back. Avon Exotic starting to move up on the outside. So it's Lily of the Valley that still leads us as we come down to five furlongs from home. They get over the twelfth. They'll take it well. And it's Lily of the Valley from Avon Exotic out wide in second up against the fences Esther Tide Revelation moving really well now is Caulfield of Alex Cherry on the 13th they're all over that running all so well now is Corbett about but they've still got to catch this leader Lily of the Valley from Caulfield Avon Exotic Norcroft Mountain Corbett about as they swing again left handed Lily of the Valley approaches the 14th three from home and it's Caulfield that jumps himself into the lead though so it's Caulfield from Lily of the Valley Avon Exotic and Norcroft Mountain Caulfield heads for home two and a half furlongs to go and Lily of the Valley might well have shot his bolt now as Avon Exotic pulls Alongside the green silks of Norcroft Mountain, Estai Revelation, Korolev Dubrovny are all still trying to run on Kulbeg about nowhere, but it's Caulfield with a four five length advantage inside a furlong and a half from Avon Exotic in second. Here comes Estai Revelation on the outside, as well as a good running on Norcroft Mountain. From inside the final furlong, it's Caulfield. Here comes Avon Exotic. Caulfield seems to be treading water now as they come down to the last. They both jump it well, but it's Avon Exotic that gets away from it best. Running well on the outside is Norcroft Mountain, but it's going to be Avon Exotic. Avon Exotic takes it to Stu Gray. Beats off Caulfield of Alex Cherry. Still can't get that uh, Hunter Chase win. Alex, uh, right there, losing that one. So, good win for Avon Exotic. Moves Stu Gray on to four Hunter Chase wins for the season. And Caulfield in second. Third was Norcroft Mountain. Fourth, I think, was Estetide Revelation. No, it was Corrine of Dubrovny for Thomas Rogers. Estetide Revelation and Norcroft Mountain for James Jake. And third and fifth 
So we'll move on to, I think, our last race of the week, race 39. 